Hello world, this is Random Fix. When a lot of people buy gold, they use a little magnet like this. They have ring magnets. However, this is really not a good method for testing gold. I actually have a total of eight different steps that I take when I'm buying gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys on this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today's discussion is gonna be all about gold and how to make sure your gold is real and legit. I did a video about a year ago on how I got conned and I bought some fake gold. And it was not a good experience. However, it was a learning experience. And the good news is I did get my money back, but it was a lot of headaches. And I'm gonna make sure that you guys avoid this. So in this video today, I'm gonna to give you guys my eight methods for detecting fake gold. And you guys wanna make sure you watch this in detailed if you guys are interested in silver or how to go ahead and buy gold or sell gold you'll find links in the video description box below that will help you out with this during this video i'm going to go ahead and drop some golden nuggets for you guys along the way so that way you guys can go ahead and really maximize your experience with gold and make yourself a pro really fast before i get into my eight different techniques number one rule whenever you're handling gold Get yourself some gloves. This will go ahead and keep your fingerprints and your oils and the acids off the gold. And you'll just get yourself a more valuable coin by taking care of it. So if you don't want to go ahead and pay a premium for something like this in a case, go ahead and get that glove. It's easy, simple, and it works. So let's go ahead and get started off with number one. So what I do first is I go ahead and take a quick measurement. And this maple is coming in at 31.2 grams. And there's a lot of resources online that allows you to go ahead and check the weight. And then we'll talk about measurements from side to side and the thickness of the coin later on. So this is looking good. And that gives me at least one thumbs up. I normally want to get a total of three thumbs up before I go ahead and buy. So the next thing that I like to go ahead and do is to use something called the ringer here. And this is from a company called The Fish. And this thing is really cool and it works. So let me show you what it does. You put the coin in. And then you go ahead and give it a little snap. And just like the name says, it'll go ahead and just ring if it's made out of the right material. If this was made out of tungsten, it would make more of a, a thud noise. And when you go ahead and buy this, you get access to all the different sounds for each different coin that you can test with this. So I like using these on my Cougar Rans and my Eagles. And if you guys don't know what coins to go ahead and buy, make sure you guys check out my video on which on how to go ahead and buy gold as I'm going to go and make this very simple for you. Number three, from the same company as the ring, they have a device called the fish. And this is pretty cool and it works on various different coins. So the top one works for eagles and cougaran and some other coins there as well. And all you got to do is stick it in. If it passes the fit test, that's definitely good. Then we want to go ahead and make sure it passes the tilt test. So the tilt test works like this. When this is on a flat surface, you can see that this part right here is up in the air. And when I put an authentic coin in, it'll go ahead and tilt down like that. It's got a fit in there and also it's got a tilt. So, and this will go ahead and check off one more of those boxes for me. Now we're at three. So normally I'm pretty happy when I do this. When I go ahead and weigh it, I check it with the ringer and I do this. I'm pretty happy. However, sometimes you can't go ahead and use something like this because you're buying yourself a bar like this. And this is a bar here from Scottsdale Mint. It's from 2020. It's the year of the rat, what I like to call the COVID years. And this is pretty nice what this allows you to do. And I like these bars here from Scottsdale Mint as you can go ahead and check the quality and the authenticity of this really easily. And let me show you guys. So tool number four is gonna be this jeweler's eye. And there's gonna be a lot of jeweler's eyes, tools like this that have a nice magnification. However, I'm not really interested in that. And yeah, this has a light, but what I really like about this is this UV light. And check this out. This UV light is gonna allow me to go and check the certificate of authenticity. And also there is gonna be an app for your phone can you rely on that 100%? No, you can't. However, it's one of my tests. So if I am buying a bar 
and it's got something like this. I love this jeweler's eye for that purpose. And if you don't have this, just go ahead and use any black light that you can find, whether it's from your basement or maybe something that you use for your car. Any black light will work to verify this. And I'll have a link to this in the video description box down below, as well as anything else that I show you here in the video. Go ahead and make it nice and easy for you to find. Number five, magnet. And a lot of people make the magnet their primary test. I do not want to make this my primary test as there are going to be a lot of fails for this. And let's go ahead and talk about what this can be used for and what it cannot be used for. So first of all, it can be used to go and see if it's going to be magnetic. However, is it going to give you the whole story? No. And most of the times when we're buying gold, the pieces are not that big and we really cannot see this in action. A magnet should not stick to a gold coin, so it should not grab anything. And I do like the magnet as one of my tests, and I think it's a lot more effective on silver. So check this out. This is a kilo bar here from Scottsdale Mint. It's called a stacker. If you guys want to check out my silver video, please do so in the video box down below. What will happen is if you have a bigger piece, the magnet just kind of goes in a very slow motion down. This is what should happen. And if I ever get a big piece of gold, I can show you guys that on that video. Unfortunately, I am not that rich and that's okay. Number six. This is called a micrometer or a digital caliber. You buy these at Harbor Freight for about seven or eight dollars. When they go on sale, sometimes they're even cheaper and they allow you to get an exact measurement. So you can go ahead and grab a coin such as this maple here. This is one of my favorite coins and I can grab a measurement of the thickness and also the side and go online and go ahead and look up the information. Again, this is a really nice tool to go ahead and use. Number seven is gonna be a little bit more complicated it's called a gravity test and the basic idea is that you grab your coin and when you have your coin you're going to go and put it in a cup of water water is going to go onto a scale and then you're going to go ahead and basically dip the coin in there and you're going to check the gravity of the coin by how much the weight actually changes from the coin being in the fluid even though it is suspended in air and you're holding it up with the string it's a nice test i have tried it you guys should do it for yourself it is a little bit more time consuming however However, it does work if you have no other tools, but you will need a bigger scale than this as the cup of water is going to go ahead and exceed the 50 grams this is actually rated for. And number eight is going to be professional grade tools that you're going to find at coin dealers and shops. And I know most of us are not going to have access to this. So it is really important for you to go and be friends with the guys at the coin dealer. They are your friends and they're pretty cool. If you know how to talk to them, they'll give you a premium for all your gold and your silver. It's just about making sure that you are respectful to them and they know that you're there to do business. They will go ahead and wheel and deal with you guys. And as a free service, they can go ahead and check your gold and your bars like this and make sure everything is real. That way you don't go ahead and potentially lose out thousands of dollars. So there's actually more than eight ways to test gold. The other method you can use is you can get a chemical tester like I have on the screen here, and you'll have to know the carat of the gold. So you'll have to know if it's 14 carat or 24 carat. You'll also have to scratch up the gold coin, the bar. Most people are not gonna let you do this unless you're buying jewelry from a friend or family member. And sometimes they're still gonna go ahead and object to this. So if you wanna be extra sure, you can get yourself one of these electronic ones that I talked about earlier. And here's one, this is about $299. I don't really know how good these are because when I go visit the coin shop, most of these guys have these really huge devices and they are sometimes in the thousands of dollars. I know one guy told me one of the machines that goes and is able to detect gold and the different metals inside there was over $20,000. So I don't know how much that's going to help you guys out. But if you guys use at least three of the methods that I told you about in this video, when you're buying gold, you're going to be sure that you're going to go ahead and get real gold. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If you guys want to check out my video on how to buy gold, sell gold or silver, go ahead and check the links down below and I'll leave you guys a little playlist at the end of this video up here. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I really appreciate you guys. And I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool things in the other videos. And if I missed something, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Make it a great day. Thanks.